<laughs> Ouch, just right on the head. You, you know, you don't need to just wait at doors to ambush people. That's just, that's very rude. Oh my, that is a large warhammer. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You, you don't like visitors. I should have knocked first. You know, I apologize. And now I am leaving. I am leaving. Just please let me leave. Okay, thank goodness they can't Oh my goodness gracious. What? What? Okay, okay. They're still chasing me. They are still chasing me. Uh, please, please just stop hitting me. Uh, obviously, mistakes were made. This is not going how I wanted it to. Just please let me flee. Uh, oh, right. You know what? I'm just I'm going to go into this other building. Just please stop following me. I do not want to die. So stop trying to kill me. Oh, some really. Oh, my goodness. No, they, they are here again. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Clearly. Clearly, I've angered you by invading your personal space. I am trying to leave now. Please, just leave me be. And with that introduction out of the way, that brings me to today's more of the day, which is uh, Smart Chases by Abbott. And uh, as you may have gathered already, uh, basically, uh, this mod allows enemies to continue chasing and attacking you through load doors, both into and out of interiors. So if you go into, say, a smuggler's cave and, uh, hey, the combat's not, you know, not going so great, uh, you're losing health and you decide to go uh, just pop onto the other side of a load door and just restore your health real quick, uh, guess what? You know, they're going to continue chasing you and you are not going to get any relief just by, uh, you know, exiting the interior. And uh, by default, uh, enemies will continue chasing you for about 24 hours after combat has started. That, that's the default in the mod config, uh, though you can adjust that. And uh, th there are a few other limitations, uh, you know, uh, undead creatures in ancestral tombs won't follow you into the exterior world space, that they will stay in those ancestral tombs. And vampires won't pursue you into daylight. Uh, they will pursue you into the night, but not during the day. Uh, this uh, really just uh, kind of makes combat, and uh, by extension, the entire game, just a, a lot more difficult. Because, uh, as you know, in the vanilla game, uh, enemies uh, couldn't pursue you into new cells. Uh, th they were limited to, you know, either being stuck in an interior cell or an exterior cell. Uh, so you could just, you could get away uh, by just going through a load door and then, you know, restoring your health on the other side and jumping back into the combat. But uh, y you can't, you just, you can't do that anymore because uh, these enemies will just continue to pursue you with this, uh, this mod enabled. Uh, but as a note, uh, as a note, if you just want to have a, a bit of fun, I would recommend just installing this with more Tint of Gods by Seal the Deal. Uh, that way, uh, you know, the gods will actually react to hostile NPCs, and you can just string along a bunch of bandits behind you, and let the town gods deal with them. You know, just have a, a bit of fun that way. Uh, but, uh, you know, focusing again on smart chases, uh, this mod does come with a, a fairly in-depth mod config, with just a number of, you know, different settings that you can adjust. Uh, so, if you want to limit just how far these NPCs and, you know, uh, hostile opponents will pursue you, uh, you can just, you can set a limit to that, uh, or you can, you know, expand it so that they'll follow you even farther. Uh, you know, the, the choice is yours. This is a fairly in-depth and uh, thorough mod config with just a ton of settings that you can adjust. Uh, but uh, anyway, anyway, uh, you, you may have noticed that uh, this isn't the first time that we've showcased a mod like this, uh, because it isn't the first mod uh, of this kind uh, to be released from Arrowind. Uh, in fact, uh, there's actually quite a history of uh, modders trying to, you know, achieve uh, basically this in the Morrowind game engine, where uh, opponents could chase you into and out of interiors. Uh, the, the first was probably Jacobi's Pursuit in Hand. That, that, that was way, way back there. I think that might have been in the mid to late 2000s. Uh, it, it, it's pretty ancient. Uh, then there is a more recent MWC Pursuit Revisited by SV Engineer 99. Uh, that was released in 2018. Uh, just, uh, just kind of at the turning point for MWC. Uh, that was around the time that MWC was really uh, sort of adapting, you know, Lua, uh, Lua coding instead of, you know, what it was before. 
Uh, though I think uh, Basiri visited is actually maybe a pre lure mod, so, uh, you know, that also means it's maybe just a, a bit buggier, but it, it has been quite a long time since I've actually used it. Uh, then in 2019, uh, we got Dragon Door by Archimag, uh, which, uh, in terms of functionality, uh, basically acts the exact same way as this mod, with most of the exact same features. I think the only real major difference here is that uh, Smart Chases might have just a few more customization options. Uh, but uh, either way, you know, both these mods uh, basically uh, just allow you to achieve that, that effect from Oblivion and Skyrim of uh, being constantly pursued and chased by hostile opponents. And if that's, you know, if that's something you're looking for, this is just, this is a great mod to check out. But uh, that's just, uh, that's just a more of the day, so uh, as always, uh, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy, uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll uh, see you all next time.